160, 180, 200 to the compression. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Nuba Cream. I'm pretty rushed as you can tell because we have only like one hour left till the track closes and it's a beautiful day, probably one of the last beautiful days of the year. And Oleg from Atomic said like, hey, you want to do a lap in a Tesla in their modified Tesla together with unplugged performance? I'm like, yeah, let's go. So let's hop in, do a lap and do maybe talking afterwards, but it has lots of modifications. Oh, Oleg is joining for a lap. Amazing, cool. So he can talk us through. Ooh, look at the fence, it's green. Wonderful. More screens. What are we doing? What are the settings we're running? What do we have? Track mode? Yeah, we did it. Do we do like regen, no regen? No regen, for okay. sure. Track cool. mode, track mode. Okay, you there. Traction. Uh, traction minus 10. Minus 10. Customize. Okay. So it's typical. Alright. Can we have like a big, sp a big speedometer here or is it? This is your speedometer, GPS. Okay. Other sensors is not uh, shown here. It's uh, data logging inside. Temperatures all around the car. It's okay. Like, I will explain later. Okay, okay, good. We'll go for a quick Have lap. You... So busy. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Uh, fancy seat, seats. Never cream edition. All right, let's plug it in onto my helmet. I'm going for a lap, then I come with you, okay? Cool. See you in a bit. At least the windows you can still open with this switch and not from somewhere in the menu. Okay, um, quick disclaimer, I obviously do not know the car. I've never driven with this particular Tesla. I don't know how the car feels. I don't know which mods it's running. So we are, to a certain extent, definitely are going to take it easy. Um, yeah, that should be nevertheless a fun lap. The sun is winter low. So let's go. There are lots of mods on the car and I don't know what, but off we go. One sixty, one eighty, two hundred to the compression. Street tires are definitely not the best. You need to remember how direct the Tesla steering wheel is as well. Thank you. Spin. It's unfortunate if there's a truck means there's an accident we're gonna have a yellow but so far First impressions are good. Definitely the first few corners had to get used to the way the car steers because the the steering was very direct. But otherwise, all is good. I use a bit of a big wing in here. Too bad. Where's the? Okay, I think this is the. Really too bad. This would have been a very nice section with the car. But oh well. This also means. There it is. So should be good. Right. 
we go. I'm more, of course, excited to see and curious how the battery will perform. If it is going to still uh, overheat around after the carousel. But we'll see. Again, yellow. Man, man, man. Unfortunate. Hope they're not gonna close the track. And then again, all those yellow flags match the yellow colors of the of the autumn. higher wing extensions so by now the stock model 3 performance with region on would go into reduced power mode because the battery will be too hot we have region off so and we also had some yellow flags, so I guess it doesn't fully count. There's a lot more in the braking performance than I'm using, but first lap with the car, I don't trust it. Don't trust myself to it makes no sense to overdrive it. Very confident through here. feels that there is still traction control on some sort of even though it is on minus 10 I don't know if minus 10 doesn't mean fully off but something warning brake temperature high hmm. shouldn't be at least not from the region system see anything with the sun <laughs> the traction control is silly that's annoying okay, 
so we do have the reduced power mode looking at the screen and at the track at the same time it's not the best idea but sometimes driver input information is very important nice that was good definitely one of the more pleasant Teslas I have drove on the Nürburgring we don't even have like some super sticky tires because it's not cup 2 or anything I think it's some continental factory winter no, not winter tire but just like more suitable I'll, I'll have a look in a bit I need to do a couple of more laps before the track closes in the next 40 minutes and then we'll see hmm, the battery's cooled down already that's good no we were running p0s okay and the brakes unplugged performance big brake kit and lots of other things good uh, I need to do a couple more laps before the track closes uh. and now under less hectic environment let's have a look at what makes this car handle the way it was handling on the onboard that I was making in the meantime the car has received a couple of other modifications so for example it has this different splitter I would say it has the proper wheels with proper tires Nankang Air once so this is something that I would have loved to drive it on well I'm sure we get our chance probably next year because by now it's already going to be too cold it has this small cute little ducktail but as mentioned when I was going over Schweden Kreuz the car could use some additional downforce but the most like the, the like the biggest changes are underneath the car so this is why we're gonna put it on the lift now and see what makes it extra special while the car is going up can have a look no oh well we do see over there unplugged performance top mounts and here as well the big brakes from up close Ooh. All right, Oleg, walk us through. <laughs> what do we have? What do we have here? So as you remember, this car is unplugged performance development car here at Nürburgring. So main reason why it's here is this thing. Mm -hmm. So the suspension is uh, based on Olin's TTX. Mm -hmm. So now the top line of unplugged performance suspension is a four-way fully adjustable TTX suspension, same like uh, uh, Lambo use on Huracan GT3, same like Bentley use on GT3 cars. Mm -hmm. So it's best what you can have from suspension. Nice. So it's the the shock. Then I see here the sway bar links. I guess yeah, that's different. That's a shock. Um, Is there anything else somewhere where we can? So brake kit. So now let's say it like this: This car is fully certified in Germany, uh, TÜV approved car which you can use on the track. So mm -hmm. You can go on the track, you can use it and nothing will happen. You will not have brake failure, you mm -hmm. will not have suspension problems, etc. So it's a, like fast, more or less track tool. Yeah, ready nice. To use. That's very good. Uh, is that it regarding the front? Can we move to the back or is there something else that we missed here? Uh, on the front we missed big brake kit, mm -hmm. 390 millimeter. Six spot Brembo calipers, everything is sealed to road legal, so that's okay. super nice brakes. Was tested uh, by two from airfield, so they make uh, more than 20 uh, acceleration to 200 and stop okay. immediately with measurement. Everything like temperature, brake fitting, everything. We was completely happy. Mm -hmm. So this one of the biggest improvement for this car. Oh yeah, for sure the brakes are. Yeah. I mentioned it when I drove the stock car, it is absolute disaster. So that's most important yeah. upgrade when it comes on. For safety reason, yes, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Nice. So what do I have on the rear? On the rear? Ah, here rear. we can see it even better, that the early suspension. Yeah. Very nice. Bottom arms, as you can see. Oh yeah, this one. Yeah. The whole part. we need to use yeah, for fast adjustment of a car clearance and uh, etc. Mm -hmm. Also, you can see here. Camber and tow arm, they are also changed. So we okay. can see it here, one here. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And one is there on top. So that's need for making proper alignment. Mm -hmm. So typical things, also you can see brake lines. 
Yep. Uh, pets is also changed, upgraded, also certified. Cool. Well, yeah, this definitely, this car handled, like, it was the best handling Tesla I drove so far. To, to extend that the, the tires that we were running back then, the Pirelli P0s were just lacking grip a bit, but yeah. we'll do it next you time. Know, it was a sad story. So uh, we get this uh, unplugged PBS wheels and one of them was lost oh, no. in delivery. Yeah, so that's the reason why you use the original wheels in Pirelli. So now it's already ready for Eco Grand Prix. Uh, so it's a Duncan tire and uh, BBS wheels, so it's full. Cool. It's already full set. Well, I guess we'll do our laps next year then with it. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Awesome. Thanks again, and Thank you. see you next time. And I'm very much looking forward to drive it uh, one more time on proper tires, on proper wheels, and see if we can get the wheel actually come off the ground through ice curve. Nice. Hope you guys enjoyed. And as mentioned, if you have a Tesla, stop by Atomic because they can hook you up with all the unplugged performance goodies and a lot more. So see you then.